do you want to sell for a better price now or sell for lower later? I believe with everything that's going on, we're in for the next rocky two years. I believe that prices will come down even more. With higher interest rates, I believe that the powers that be are setting us up for another massive, another major correction. And the writing's on the wall. But, but, but what, where's the silver lining, Brandon? But we are selling the one thing everybody wants and needs, and that's a place to live. What's your advice to agents who maybe don't have a lot of listings right now? What should they do? Well, you know, it's really in a state of mind, and that's our tag logo. And it's like, fake it till you make it confidence, confidence, confidence. And the only way that you will have true confidence is to really learn the market. What is your number one sales pitch, Brandon, to get the listing? It's information. Knowledge is power. And you have to know the facts. And you have to be straight up. And you have to cut to the chase. And you have to be part of the solution and bring solutions and cracking the code to buyers and sellers. That is the key. There's no. no magic pitch line. You know, of course, it's great when I walk in the room now. It's, uh, we sold this, we sold that, we sold your neighbor's house, we sold right. I just went into a meeting. Yeah. And I said, uh, I sold you the property. You listed it with somebody else. And I sold everything around you. What's the, you know, of course, it was a family friend favor. It's an aunt, it's an uncle, it's a grandparent. I mean, that's unfortunately everybody Did, has did you get the listing? We got it back and we're going to sell it. Do the market conditions even apply to the level of clientele you serve, the ultra of, high network? Of, of course they do. You know, now to get an interest rate, it's double. Let's just, you know, there was people getting interest rates at two to three percent. Now it's, you know, private banking, five, five and a half, six percent. So, of course, everything matters. Everything counts. And you are got to be really good at, at pivoting and, and figuring out how to make deals right now. This is when the salespersons come out and that means knowing everything, mortgages, appraisals, bankers, uh, relationships in terms of inspections. I mean, being a real estate broker uh, is not just, you know, selling real estate. There's so many other facets to the, uh, to the job. Do you think you have to be an all cash buyer right now to, to win a house? Absolutely. No, absolutely not. That's, that's completely not true. Um, sure. You could write it on the offer looking as in all cash, but, the majority of the time, people want uh, want to get a, a, a mortgage. Even in when uh, when we were in two to three percent, every single wealthy person, billionaires, were getting mortgages because what you do is you pay cash and then you refinance after, and you can write off the full amount of interest. Everybody wants write-offs. If you can save your client money and talk to them and know the best ways as their accountant, as their uh, real estate advisor, and really help them and save them money, they'll love you forever. Yeah, so in this downtime that you have, become an expert on mortgages and saving your client money and becoming a real estate advisor. Brandon, you, I think joining a new brokerage, we're seeing a lot of agents shuffling around and joining new brokerages. You've started your own brokerage. You guys have how many agents now? We have around 60 curated agents. Um, we started this brokerage, I think, a little over two years ago in the dead of COVID, two and a half years ago, when literally there was not one car on Sunset. You could walk outside. And there was nobody and i was in here building this incredible office out i think we have one of the coolest office spaces vibe soul and essence was the key ingredients to starting the beverly hills estates anybody that walks in the door will tell you that's what's happening not only are we uh you know this is a community and a collaborative community but we're collaborating on major deals while having fun so how would an agent that's watching join the beverly hills estates because i say if you're in a rut join a new brokerage a new broom sweeps clean and shake up your where you hang your license well, you know, I always say surround yourself with winners, surround yourself with people that are buying real estate, building real estate, selling real estate, get in with the real movers and shakers. Right. And you guys, you guys buy and sell real estate. You guys are developing two properties right now, Stanley two. And we're actually developing like five or six properties. We just sold a, a property in Malibu that we developed. We sold a property in Brentwood that we were partners on developing. We're selling properties um, all over. And, uh, but we do have Stanley two coming up which was on, we did Stanley one with Lenny Kravitz, super exciting. It's going to be 13,000 square feet to use in the city. It's not going to look like any modern home. And I think that's really what we do is do specialty custom curated homes that stand out from everything else. We're also doing one right above it on Curson with the biggest views in the city. And, uh, and, and that's with Scott Mitchell. The yes. And only, I think one of the top architects, living architects in the world, Scott Mitchell, who did Malibu Noble. Where do you get all this information, Brandon? What is what, what Obviously is the experience, time and experience in the market is the key. But, mm -hmm. you know, talking to everybody, you know, talking to every broker. I try to talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. I try to be friends with everybody. 
information, what's going on, and then being able to connect the dots. Right. I, I get a lot of information from you. And going and looking at all the properties, knowing properties, knowing streets, knowing neighborhoods, knowing who lives there, knowing what they sold for, knowing the history of the neighborhood, when it was built, what style of homes was built, you know, where this neighborhood is close to, just facts, 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 facts to build the story. LA really is competitive, as people say. What do you think, Brandon? LA is extremely competitive because of the properties, the lifestyle, the sun, and uh, you know, there's big commissions, and wherever there's big commissions, you're going to have you know a lot of competition. Right, it's so small. You. It's like yeah. so small that you, it, it, if you get in a fight with a realtor one day, don't you have to work with them the next day? It's like, and it, 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 it always happens like that. There's it always that, happens. You know, I've told F off, and you know, I regret that because you're just <laughs> burning bridges, and then all of a sudden. I'm trying to get a client to accept their offer, my client to accept their offer, uh, to accept an, an offer that they're representing, and we're in multiple offers. So yeah, we have the know, same thing in VR. I'm like, I don't want to work with that PR company. Yeah. They turn around and they're on the next one. Yeah. And so you just have to, you have to figure out how to collaborate, and you have to figure out what makes you different. Um, Brandon, once we were in Malibu, and I was riding a jet ski with you, and I love this story. I tell this story to people all the time, and. Uh, we we were on the jet ski and you stopped and I looked back at your house and you remember what I asked you? No. I asked you, did you ever think you'd become this successful? You oh, know, yeah. and and how did you do it? And do you remember what you told me? No. You said you bet big, and that's well, how you became so successful is that you were willing to bet big. Well, I think it's being you know I think it's building blocks and and it's it's gaining confidence. And, it, and it's being smart, you know, I didn't like put it all on red, you know, it was just building confidence and deals and, and started investing in yourself, like doing your own uh, developments, like building your own brokerage, just looked at the best and saw what they did. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't reinvent the wheel. I just thought, okay, if, if they can do it, I can do it. And it's just doing it. And it's, listen, it's trial and error. We wouldn't be here today if, if we weren't solving uh, problems. I mean, right. Like every day, it's another issue. It's another problem. And, 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 and that's the journey, and that's what makes it fun. And you got to really enjoy being part of the solution, not the problem. And, 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 and that's what I really say to clients is I'm here to help you. I'm here to make your lives easier. And, 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 and let's get this sold for you, and let's have a good time, and let's everybody do what we say, and, and let's come through. And, and, and this is a referral business. The better you do for the clients and the right. more that you show them that you really care, they're going to refer you clients. Right. I think that Beverly Hills Estates, the work speaks for itself. I think the numbers speak for itself. And Brandon, I love when you come on and you drop all your knowledge. You're so generous to give us like just this 15 minutes of your time. So I want to thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. And you know what they say, you can't keep it if you don't give it back. I love so that. It's all about that. helping others. It's all about being of service. It's all about, you know, uh, uh, making other people feel good. And my favorite definition is the real definition of a star is stars reflect light. So uh -huh. they make other people look good and they help other people, and that's what a real star is. So anyways, I love you. You guys are amazing. You're a star, Brandon. You, you've been one of you know the main proponents of strictly real estate publicity, which is not easy. It's not easy to work with realtors and properties and sellers, and you guys have, 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 have stayed strong and, and, and been through ups and downs in the market, and you guys continue to impress me, and I love working with you. It's, it's really understanding the big picture and being 10 steps ahead of everything. And that's what I tell all of our brokers. It's like, think to the future. Mm -hmm. Let's think your next 10 moves. And I think, you know, we've all done that together and we've all had such massive success together and so many wins so and many. such great stories and such great journeys. And really that's, in any line of work you do, I mean, that's really like, sure, money's great, but you know, it's the people, it's the stories, it's the fails and, and the successes that really make our lives interesting.